You're listening to the Jam Price Show, all about movies. And today, my guest is Philippe Martinez, and we're going to be talking about his new movie, A Week in Paradise, where he is right now. Welcome to the show, Philippe. Thank you, John. It's very good to be here. Thank you very much. Oh, you're very, very welcome. Oh, uh, you are in, on the beautiful island of Nevis, which is where yes. you filmed A Week in Paradise. I uh, <laughs> and I have been there. Now, I don't know how. Many people have been to Nevis and even know about Nevis, but I have vacation there and it is beautiful, just beautiful, it is, beautiful island. It yeah. is beautiful. We, you know, we came here um, because we, we produce movies in the UK and in the US. And when the pandemic started, I looked a map of the world and see which place in the world had the least amount of case of COVID. Ah. And uh, St. Kitts and Nevis uh, was the place. So we came here a year ago, absolutely fell in love with the island, and we produced four movies since then uh, here on the island. So wow. it's, it's very exciting. Yeah. Very exciting. Wow, that's a lot of movies in a short period of time, too. I want to talk some yeah. more about that. Well, you're very, very prolific, anyhow, in, your, in the films that you yeah. uh, direct. Uh, as we were talking about, for those who may not know, uh, Nevis is where Alexander Hamilton was born. Yep, one, one of, of the founding fathers. Yeah. Exactly. And, you know, of course, the what marvelous uh, Broadway show Hamilton is based on his life. I, I actually visited his home and his birthplace when I was there. It's one of the must see yeah. when you're on the island. It is wonderful. And it's so incredible that in such a small island, you know, you can make the tour of the island in um, 40 minutes by driving. Right. And it's such, a, it's so incredible to think that, you know, a, a man that had so much uh, influence uh, in the life of, uh, in the history of the United States was born on this small island. Amazing, isn't it? It doesn't make any difference where you're born. If you're born for greatness, yeah. you will uh, flourish and become great no matter where that yeah. place is. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I, I'm envious that you're living on Nevis. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, uh, you know, after one week being here, we were like, okay, that's great. And then our film crew that we brought with us was like, uh, can you please stay here forever? And then my wife told me, you know, we should stay here forever. And then we've made one movie and then two and three and four, and we're doing five movies this year um, so uh, yeah so it's wow. uh, it's, it's an exciting adventure it is it is it seems like you're just flourishing there for sure yeah so let's talk about a week in paradise which is set on yes. the island of nevis <laughs> so how did let's so our audience knows what we're talking about why don't you tell them a little bit about the uh, film about the synopsis of the film well a week in paradise is a, it's a movie that i had in my head for, um, for a long time. Um, and then, you know, walking in, on the island and seeing the beautiful sceneries, the, the story came along uh, in my head. So I, I called a friend of mine, her name is Kate Wood. She's a wonderful writer in England. And I told her the story and she wrote the script um, of that um, actress uh, who's played by uh, Malene Ackerman. Um, Who's, who plays the, the role of a movie star like, like her in real life. And she lives in London uh, with her husband, who's a film director. And at the beginning of the movie, she f realized that her husband is cheating on her. So she calls her cousin, who's her best friend. And she, the cousin was played by Connie Nielsen, um, owns and runs a small, absolutely stunning boutique hotel on Nevis. And she tells her, come here and let me take care of you. Let me help you and let the island help you. Um, and she does. And she comes here and she starts to heal from the trauma of her husband uh, leaving her, uh, not leaving her, but cheating on her. And then she meets someone that is one of um, the chef of the, of the um, uh, hotel was played by um, Philip Winchester, um, and he's the chef of the hotel. And he brings her what she doesn't have in her life, you know, kindness and, and 
family life and uh, uh, a different rhythm of life, you know. Um, so it's a film about a friendship between those two women, um, because I, I, you know, I, I, I like seeing movies where you see how deep the friendship between two women can be, how important it is. Um, uh, and it's a movie about falling in love and finding yourself, you know, and that's what she does. She finds herself. Uh, so it's a, it's a romantic story. Very perfect well. for Valentine's Day. Perfect for Valentine's Day. <laughs> it, it, it is. You're right. It's the perfect movie for Valentine's Day. It is a, a Valentine's exactly. uh, card. <laughs> yeah. It really is. Yes, I, I want to talk more about the relationship between Connie Nielsen and, 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 and Malin Ackerman, who is, you know, they're both, Malin Ackerman is so beautiful, and Connie is, yeah. um, for those who, they know her when you see her they will, you will if you saw wonder woman the first wonder woman you will know connie yeah. as uh, and of, wonder woman and uh, gladiator where she was extraordinary oh yes um, yeah so what happened with with both of them is that i i literally sent them the script together uh, at the same time and they both read it and loved the script um, and I've never worked with them before. I've never met them before they came to Nevis. And I, I think what we did uh, on the film, which was kind of unique because I've never done that before, um, we just took a lot of time talking about ourselves, you know, uh, who we are. Uh, and you're talking about two extraordinary women, uh, both Malin and Connie are very different, um, but just, um, incredible. Um, Malin, um, as, a, as, a, as a human being, she is at the peak of her well-being. You know, you know, it takes time to find out who you are, what you want in life. And when you see that woman, Malin Ackerman, and you see how comfortable she is with who she is, with what she believes in, that already is, you know, it's, it, it, it brings so much inspiration to who the character was going to be because, you know, she already knew where she was going. And uh, uh, Connie is incredible. She's, um, she's this type of woman that studies everything. She puts an enormous amount of work and an enormous amount of thinking in what she does. She's so precise. So on one hand, it was uh, Malin was more intuitive and, and Connie was much more uh, uh, articulate uh, into the, the thinking and much more structure. And those two were like amazing. So, you know, normally on a movie, you shoot 12 hours a day, right? And I honestly think that I never shot more than five, six hours a day. The rest of the time, we sat down, had two or three hours lunch, talk about life, talk about them. It was a unique experience. So after that, when we were shooting, it was, you know, two takes, great, because they were spot on. I, I don't think I've done a film where I rarely had a comment to the actors, um, you know, where you try to get the performance. Uh, um, it, it was just uh, incredible. Uh, incredible. But it, it sounds incredible. It sounds like a wonderful experience uh, for everybody involved. Uh, listen, we were, you know, the, what I will never forget of that film is the three of us and, and Philippe, when he was with us, um, sitting in that beautiful hotel called Golden Rock, uh, where we shot the film. Uh, the hotel is owned by one of the greatest American painters. Um, um, and, uh, you know, we just, uh, uh, being happy, uh, uh being, uh, um, having a nice lunch, talk about life, you know, plus the, you know, it, it was just a special moment of life. I think the best way to describe it, the whole experience was a, a special moment of life. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. 
Wonderful. What you sent the script to Malin and Connie, you said, but how, what made you decide to send the script to those two actresses? Well, I got lucky, um, to, to be honest with you, because I'm a huge fan of Connie Nielsen and I'm a huge fan of Malina Kerman. So I really wanted to work with those two actresses for years, right? Um, and turns out that the agent of Connie uh, also knew Malin was in the same agency. So he read the script first, right? And, um, and then he called me and he said, look, I've read the script. And what about Connie Nielsen and Malin Ackerman for the film? And I'm really? like, are you kidding? <laughs> I said, are you kidding? Like, yes, absolutely, yes. Can you send them the script? And they, they got the script. And I spoke to them the same day. I mean, you know, it was just what it's meant to be. It's meant to be, you know. Yeah, yeah I agree with you about it. everything in life. When it just lines up so perfectly, yeah. all the stars are aligned. And you go, yeah, yeah uh, that's beautiful. And you, story. And, and you know, Jen, one of the things also is, you know, this island has a big volcano, as you know, because you, you came here. And somehow it, it brings peace in you. You know, you feel very serene, um, um, very, you know, um, it just thinks, things seems right, you know. Um, so it was just a beautiful moment of life with two incredible actresses and also Philip Winchester, mm -hmm. um, who uh, has been absolutely wonderful to work with. So it was like a happy family, having a great time and working five, six hours a day, really. On a beautiful island. <laughs> On a beautiful be island. Yeah. <laughs> what could be better? <laughs> Three hour lunches, and like lots of wine, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, wine <laughs> and talk and mozzarella and tomatoes and, you know, fresh. It was amazing. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. I agree. I, I just moved to, to uh, Santa Barbara from Carmel, California. I don't yes. know if you've been to either one of those places. I, I've been to both. Okay, is there? I I love. Right, I, I'm looking out right now uh, at the beautiful mountains of Santa Barbara. Uh, I I look yeah. high on a hill and I get to see them. And it's you're right. There's something I love the ocean. I I, I, I yeah. need to be near water, and you get and you get the mountains and the water here. And uh, it's I, yeah. it's it's my perfect cap. I'm, I feel like I'm in my spiritual happy place. That's what I've told people. Absolutely. So you have that too with a volcano because it's a mountain, and. Mm -hmm. The yeah. gorgeous waters. Go ahead. We we do it, and 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 I think when you see the film, it shows it. It shows that the the island had an influence on on all of us. Me as a director, them as actors. You know, so you feel that that serenity. You know that uh, that wonderful energy that you get. Yeah, from, wonderful from, energy. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Through. Wonderful. So, Malin, I agree with you. She's stunning. Uh, I think she, um, it, to have her be in this lead role was wonderful to see her in this. Um, yeah. She, she's a, an actress that should be seen more. I, I think she's, you know. I, I think, you know, because it's not the type of movie that she's done before, a romantic film. Um, I, I don't know what to say about her because uh, she's so incredible. She's so intuitive as an actress. She feels everything that she does. She's beautiful outside, of course, but inside she's equally beautiful, which is, and she's nice, you know, and especially, you know, in our business, you know, you work with some actors sometimes and, you know, it's like, okay, whatever, let's make another movie, you know. But then these people and Malin and Connie and Philip, they're just wonderful human beings. And, and you know, when you have these people like that uh, around you, it also helps you as a director uh, to, to work in the best condition possible. Uh, like I told you, I, I didn't even see it as work, as, as was like um, a, a wonderful human experience, you know. You were playing. Well, that's the whole thing. When you love what you do, when you're passionate about what you do, and when the when and you're surrounding yourself with people that you love being around, it's not work. Yeah, 
it's play. Yeah. It's just play, and yeah. you're and, and if you can get paid for that, great. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's what it's all about. If we can find that, you know, find our passion yeah. and 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 just enjoy every minute of what we're doing. You know, so yeah, uh, yeah that's what it sounded like you did. Tell us, talk about Philip a little bit, because I haven't, see, I don't know if I've seen him in anything. What has he been in? And uh, he, uh, yeah, he's a real wonderful. Uh, Is it? He played in a TV in a he played in a in a TV series called Strike Back Strike 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 Back uh, in the UK. Okay. Um, uh, what can I say? He, he lives in uh, in Montana, so he's really a country boy. Um, he came with his family, uh, with his wife and two kids, um, and he's just a wonderful family guy. I mean, just a great guy. You know, I mean, I'm 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 trying to find a a script for him so we can work with him again um soon because he's just yeah. an amazing guy and yeah, yeah. sense sensitive and deep you know and you know the, the scenes uh, when malin we think that she's going to leave him um you know he, he tears were in his eyes it was absolutely uh, incredible and you know when, when you see that an actor has so much deepness uh, when he when he's in the role you got ideas, you know, I remember very well that when I shot that scene and I saw the emotion that Philip was giving, I suddenly had an, an, an idea for another scene. And I said, Philip, let, let's do another scene. Like right now, we're gonna improvise a different scene, which is, I think, end up uh, the, one of the best scenes of the film. So, you know, when you have great actors and great human being with you, it inspire you to, to have new ideas. So that was really wonderful. What was the scene that you improvised that do you think is one of the best in the film? Well, um, the, the, initially the ending was gonna be a little bit different. And mm -hmm. I was, you know, I was trying to see how I could end the film because she's, you know, she goes back to the UK, stays on the island. And I wanted to create a moment between the two of them. And, um, um, so I, I decided that he would walk uh, along the hotel and I would shot him in slow motion, you know, and like he's thinking of her and he looks at the sea and he's like hoping that the sea will bring her back. And I cut that with her walking in the street in London, okay, and realizing that she wasn't belong belonging anymore in London, that she had to go back. So I made that, that montage. And then I put on top of that, uh, uh, an old French song from the seventies. And when I showed them the scene, it turns out that it was Malin's favorite song. And she say, Philippe, I can't believe you put that song. It's my favorite song. And she said, do you mind if I take a try and sing it for the film? And she did, and it's beautiful. So I have like my favorite French song in a beautiful scene where those two people realize that they cannot, they don't belong anywhere anymore unless they're together. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and that was really, it came out of uh, Philippe being so wonderful in the scene, Malin being so wonderful and me realizing how much emotion Philippe could give me and say, you know what, I have an idea. Let's shoot it right there. And it took me half an hour to shoot it. Then, of course, we did the, the English part in London. But it was like on the spot, improvised. And, and, uh, and, uh, and the crazy thing is when I shot it, I had the song in my head. And, um, and when I edited the scene and I sent them the scene because I wanted them to see what they thought, Madeline went crazy. She said, I can't believe it's my favorite song. And she sings it. Beautiful. I mean, everything she does, but it is fantastic. I didn't, I, you know, uh, yeah, I, that's so amazing. Again, you know, again, the yeah. stars were aligned and all of that. Yeah, it's when the stars are aligned. Yeah, it sounds like they were for this film for sure. I, I you're, what you're describing, Philip, as a as a as a human being, as a person, is exactly what comes through on the screen. There was that wonderful quiet strength that you know women yeah. want to feel safe and secure with somebody that they can trust yeah. and they know that they can allow themselves to uh, open up and express 
express who they really are. And I think that's true yeah. for men also, that there's that safety there. But he had this, he, he, he gave that on the screen. You felt that strength, yeah. but you also felt his incredible sensitivity, obviously. Um, yeah. And that to me, when you can be open and be vulnerable, that is true strength. You know, yeah. everybody feels like, oh, if a man cries, no, it shows weakness, no, no. but it does not. It shows the strength about who they are, that they can, they're secure within who they are, that they can express their feelings and emotions in such a way. Absolutely. And that's what's so beautiful. And um, yeah. so beautiful about his performance in this film, that he was yeah. able to do that. And I think it comes from your direction because you, you created that safe space for them to... To, to be that vulnerable on the screen. Which is what they, 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 they kept telling me every day is how safe they felt um, on the set um, and to be themselves, you know. Um, you know, we shot scenes when uh, Malin brought um, a son because Jack Donnelly also plays the husband of Malin in the movie. And he's actually Malin's husband in real life. Oh. So they came with, yeah. So, so they came with their boy. It was wonderful, uh, and um, and Philippe came with his daughters, and they are wonderful. So you know, we had kids around the side. It was just amazing, absolutely amazing. It is. It's an amazing experience. Yeah. So, what's next? Because you said you're working on some other. Uh, you've done a lot of films in the short period of time. You want to talk about any of those? Yes, I, I just actually finished directing a Christmas movie with uh, a dear friend of mine, uh, Elizabeth Hurley. Um, oh. It's called Christmas in the Caribbean. Uh, we just finished shooting a few weeks ago. Um, uh, and then we have uh, five movies scheduled. Uh, hopefully another one with Malin. Uh, I'm hopefully starting a new movie with Connie as well. I love working with the same actors. For me, it's like uh, being part of a theater company. Um, where you find, you know, when, when you love an, act, an actor or an actress, you want to work with them again. So you, you try to create stories that they will be re responding to. And you see that a lot. Uh, you know, yeah. Directors find their favorite muse uh, to work with, you know, and, uh, you know, they love being, doing, oh, look at Leonardo DiCaprio and Martin Scorsese. How many films Martin Scorsese, they together? Was like, Martin Scorsese is one of the great filmmakers of the, the history of cinema, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I do. I, I love working with, you know, I think it's my fourth movie with uh, Elizabeth Hurley. Um, uh, Madeline and Connie, it's, my, it's the first one, but we have uh, a project. Connie hopefully is doing a project, we hope, uh, in March in England with us. And, and uh, Madeline uh, hopefully will come back to do um, another uh, romantic story. Great. Great. And you're looking for something for Philippe to do. I do. I, I do. We, we write things, we're writing something for him right now um, uh, because he is good also with action film. And I think we're going to do an action film. Oh, that will be interesting. We'll have to have you back on yeah. when you have these other projects that you have coming up. I would love to have you back on to talk about them I a little would, bit further. Are you going to do an act, I, action? Do you? <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. No, no, I, I would love to. And I have to say, John, you know, the, the way you conduct the interview, it's pretty much how the movie was, you know, very soft-spoken and very, you know, taking the time to talk. And it's, it's very nice. So oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're, you're great to interview, actually. <laughs> so it's very nice. You make, you make my job easy, which is always good. Uh, you know, the easier, the better. Um, I have just a few minutes. Where can people see? Um, this wonderful film, A Week in Paradise? Well, it's uh, released in America by Screen Film, uh, who are wonderful people, really love the film and, and, and bought the, the American rights. Uh, so they're going to see it on uh, um, Amazon Prime, on uh, um, iTunes, Apple, all the platform, basically. It's going to be on, I believe, on February 11th, so right for Valentine's Day. It's perfect. the perfect it's the perfect movie to watch with your date. It is. It is the perfect movie. Well, I wish you much success. It's been a joy having you on the show, Philippe. Oh, I just lost you. Thank you. Uh, sorry. <laughs> there you go. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for being on the show. I look forward to having you back on for sure. Okay. 
Thank, Thank you. you very much, Jen. Thank you. If you have missed any of the Jam Price Show's All About Movies, you can go to my website, thejampriceshow.com, and you can also go to uh, iHeartRadio I Podcast Network. You can go to Apple, Google. You can also find us on the U our YouTube channel, and please subscribe and like us, and you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you all for listening. Thank you.